really doing this uh, S uh, 5F1 clone right over here. Circuit. Digging it actually at minimum volume here. Playing it through a piston. Actually full bridge position, which is probably less than an ideal um, setting for clean tone here. But I think this sounds pretty good. But I'll move around here again at minimum volume on the amp here. No reverb or anything dry. Totally dry here. I'll move around on the pickup selector switch here. All stock pickups on this sir which is probably a 2018 maybe 19 let's check it out as we go through um i'll actually just strum some chords and move through this for comparison's sake again still in bridge position some effect on the middle settings. I'll go from where I just was all the way down to where we started again with this engaged. nice feels good we'll turn it up a little again starting in just the full treble position I'm gonna go about halfway up here Take it up quite a bit. Gonna go all the way up this time, really fast. need a pedal probably in front of that yeah we can do that yeah let's check that out all right but that speaker was kind of yeah that speaker just breaks there that, at bit. that point yeah. when you put it up it's just breaking yeah i think it starts breaking like at eight or nine all right so still still sounds pretty, sounds good pretty good though but it breaks up. i do think it does sound best at that point again i think just a little bigger speaker would be like yeah it could probably handle that maybe maybe yeah. EP booster at about 10 o'clock. Thank you. 
forgot to put the front. <laughs> So Mike, overall, I mean, what did you think of the amp overall? For a pedal, like uh, someone that wants to just record at home or studio and wants to run pedal, you think is a good platform for a Total, pedal? Totally useful, especially with the low wattage. We just turned it up a little bit ago. Um, totally sounds good. Um, but I think, again, shines with probably some pedals through it at about half volume, which I think anybody would say with any recording amp you're going to have um, that type of deal. Um, you know, uh, just playing an amp is not so loud, is not practical, and it really doesn't sound as good with a mic in front of it, no matter how your preamp settings are. Um, so you want to go with a manageable um, volume setting in cases like that, reasonable. Um, so again, where the, uh, where the pedals, I think you saw when I switched out the pedals, went to a really clean 2B sound, which is what I love. Um, you just got to plan your pedal board accordingly, volume wise, in front of it. You even heard as I uh, stepped on various pedals, all the compression on there was adding the gain, but we needed to boost that up at some point. But again, I just plugged this in right now and um, sounds great. Can totally record with this too, right now. Okay. Here's the, here's the thing with this pedal in general. Um, I think and have heard and experienced that this one generally doesn't sound much better going above here, but... It's just kind of a little bit of a front endy thing, which kind of adds more than anything a little bit of warmth than anything. And it is the EP booster. That's based on the Echoplex's input system that some people would right. actually run those uh, before their amp back in the day. It might have been uh, even somebody like Richie Blackmore, although I know he used an Ampex tape thing. But this is just kind of a front end emulator. But like I said, I like it on any and every amp I use regardless. So it's not there to um, cover up anything of anybody's amp. I use it all the time. It's uh, it's just kind of one of those things. It's an always on pedal. Um, so if, um, and I, again, I don't really use it for gain. It is providing that, but it's just kind of a warmth thing. But then again, the distortion pedals here in combination, the Maxon 808. That's just it. <laughs> Just running through these, no reverb, no nothing. So, just going for clean stuff and add that other pedal. To the
fixed like that. about that. Need we do more? So we looked at some pedal things going on. Um, I'm in a, actually in a very real life situation here where I've already got my pedals all set up, a chain of them. It involves a combination of um, the, uh, actually from first to last would be a Maxon OD-808 um, set relatively conservatively. Um, I also have, um, you can probably take a look and see what we have our settings at. The uh, Maxon 808 is probably at about 1.30 or 2 o'clock um, for a drive level. The tone level has been adjusted a little bit. I sometimes leave that flat, but I think it sounds pretty good with this amp moved up a little bit. Um, purple Plexi is involved here too. That's obviously a Marshall Plexi clone pedal, um, set pretty conservatively. And then again, with as I had mentioned lastly in the chain, my EP booster always on pedal, whether it's a clean tone or not, it's on. So, but this is pretty much what I would sit down in, uh, in front of the tube and play around with, and then maybe turn up a little bit for recording. Um, but like I mentioned, it's just a perfect rig sound, even for live, if you, um, you, if you just manage the volume between your clean tone and your rockin' tone, um, that pretty much gets you 90% uh, of the way there, in my opinion. So. 